Hey everyone, it's Cookie here. So I wanted to give a disclaimer before starting the video. I can't record the way I wanted to because of copyright reasons. So the way I'm going to do it is I will give a quick recap of what happened during the episode with screenshots from the episode. And then I will talk about what I liked and didn't like and other details. And maybe I'll throw in a clip or two, but for now it's mostly going to be screenshots. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. So Grizz, Panda, and Ice Bear want to play basketball, so they put their stuff in a bag and throw it to the side. They play pretty poorly, but by some miracle they are able to score and in their excitement they accidentally leave their stuff behind. They go back to get it and it's missing. When the police don't help they decide to take matters into their own hands. They go into a diner, Panda draws some profiles, and they head back to the park and ask the pigeons for help. One pigeon steps out and pecks at number 41. The pigeon flies away and the bears follow it, wreaking havoc along the way. They end up at the library where they use a phone finder website to track down Panda's phone, and they find it at an apartment complex. They spot number 41 with what appears to be their stuff. Also this lady sees the bears climbing the ladder up to the apartment and calls 911 on them. They sneak into the apartment, but they get distracted by a basketball game and accidentally blow their cover. Everyone fights over the backpack and Panda ends up getting it, but he falls out the window. Panda ends up on a ledge and the bears soon follow. The police arrive and what they thought was their stuff was actually the Action Buddies movie. Grizz tells his brothers that they're the ones in the wrong and they're gonna have to face the consequences, but they'll do it together. So they jump. They bounce off the trampoline that the police had laid out for them, and they end up crashing through a window of another building where they find the pigeon cartel, a bunch of criminal pigeons. The police tell the bears that no one's pressing charges and he hands them their stuff. And also it turns out that the pigeon from earlier was actually a spy. And so ends our stuff. This episode was a fun episode. I don't really feel comfortable comparing this episode to any other episode in Wee Bear Bear's life because I don't... I don't really remember them too well, and I haven't seen all of them, so... But on its own, I think it's fun. One of my favorite moments of the episode, actually probably my favorite moment of the episode, would have to be when they're on the ledge together, and the police are telling them to jump, and when Grizz realizes that they're the ones who were in the wrong, and they messed up, and they're gonna have to face the consequences. Well, first of all, he tells them that, but he also tells them that they're in it together, and then they have a group hug. I thought that was really sweet. Hey guys, if we go down, we do it together. And I'm glad we had that kind of scene in the first episode to show the audience their bond, which is pretty important in this show, I think. I also thought some of the jokes were pretty funny. I really liked when they were sneaking into the apartment and when Grizz passed a bag of chips, he just started eating them. <laughs> Grizz! I thought that was funny. I feel like this show does play around with the idea that they are bears and sometimes they have bear mannerisms, and I feel like that's one of Grizz's. So that was cool. Another joke that I thought was funny was when Ice Bear started speaking pigeon. It's something that I didn't think I would find that funny on rewatches, but while I was making this video and rewatching the episode, it actually got a chuckle out of me. Meow. I also liked the waitress and the diner. She was kind of funny. I like that she came back at the end of the episode to yell at the bears for only ordering ice water and tipping badly. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm only bringing her up though because I think she actually does show up in another episode. I only know that because I was scrolling through episodes on HBO Max and I think, I don't remember if it was on a thumbnail or if I just saw footage of it, but I, I know she shows up again. Speaking of recurring elements, that Action Buddies movie is going to be a recurring element as well. At least I think so. I don't know how often it gets mentioned, but I remember that there is a Baby Bears episode where they actually meet the actor. Well, Grizz does. Well, he meets one of the actors. One cool detail I didn't notice when I first watched this episode, or when I watched this episode again for this review, I noticed it when I was making this video. The scene at the basketball game is almost identical to the scene later when they're fighting over the backpack. Grizz throws it to the Ice Bear who passes it to Panda, and during the basketball scene, it hits Panda and makes it into the basket, but later it uh, Panda actually catches it, <laughs> except he falls out the window. So yeah, I thought that was cool, and I'm really surprised I didn't notice it, because I think it was supposed to be obvious that that's what was going on, but I don't know. I still thought it was cool. One thing I didn't notice until I read the wiki, but during the scene at the diner, when Grizz is reenacting the events at the basketball game, he's using the salt and pepper shakers to represent Ice Bear and Panda. The salt being Ice Bear and the salt and pepper mix. I'm not really sure what it is, but it has a stripe in the middle to represent Panda. I thought that was kind of a cool detail. One thing I think is interesting in the show is that the people aren't really afraid of the bears. Sometimes they're annoyed by them or confused, but I don't think they're ever scared. 
But during the fight over the backpack, Grizz growls at number 41 and he actually lets go of the backpack. Oh, come up with it. I don't know if he's scared in that moment or if he's confused, but either way, it does get a reaction out of him, sort of. So yeah, that's not, I don't know why I find that so interesting, but I just wanted to point that out. One thing that I thought was a little weird about this episode, it didn't really bother me, but I just wanted to point it out. Uh, the bears get off scot-free and I'm not really sure why. I mean, they did knock over a bunch of people when they were running to the library and they did destroy that one guy's stand, his t-shirt stand. Plus they did steal that one guy's stuff. So I don't know why nobody really cares. It's just weird. I mean, I guess because they caught the pigeon cartel, but I, that was completely disconnected from everything that was happening. That was unrelated to the bears taking that guy's stuff. I guess it was sort of connected in some way to the bears running around through town, I guess, but not really. I don't, I don't know. Maybe people noticed that they were chasing a pigeon and they thought that they were, they assumed that they were trying to take down the pigeon cartel. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's just something I wanted to point out. Another thing I thought that was a little weird was the pigeon, the spy pigeon. I didn't really understand their role in this episode because, okay, first off, they were the ones that put the suspicion on that one guy, number 41. And I don't understand what the point of that was. I guess because they were with the pigeon cartel, I assume all those pigeons that were with them were a part of the pigeon cartel, that they wanted to sort of make it look like the pigeon cartel could trust them, I guess. That's my only guess, because otherwise I don't know what the point of that was. Because it's not like that helped the bears at all. I guess it did though. But I mean, the pigeon couldn't have predicted that the bears would have found the pigeon cartel and they would have arrested them. That was just dumb luck. I don't know, it's just something I thought was a little weird, but like I said, I don't think it really matters. It's just kind of, I don't know, random. It just makes me think that the pigeon wasn't that helpful after all. But I guess, you know, if it weren't for the pigeon, they wouldn't have ended up there. So what do I know? Also, this is kind of a nitpick, but when the bears are on the ledge, uh, before they form, well, when they form the bear stack, you can see that the ledge seems to gain a lot more room. And I don't think there was enough room for them to make a bear stack. Even if there was more room that we couldn't see because of perspective, I don't think there was would be that much room for them to form a stack but that's just a nitpick it doesn't really matter but yeah overall i really liked this episode and i'm excited to talk about more episodes in the future because i know it pretty much only goes up from here thank you guys for watching next up is viral video see you then